Hello and welcome to another video by um, Art Education. This is about rounding numbers. I mean, this is another basic skill of maths we need to know. And we're doing rounding right from the beginning to right at the very end, okay? So we're doing rounding to decimal places first. Right, so let's see. The number is 2, 3, 4, 7. Now guys, if, how do we read this? This is 2347 and this is to be rounded to, let's say, to nearest tens. Okay, so what do we do guys? We look at the tens place and which is four and we see what does it, this is, next digit is seven. Seven is five and above, so 47 will round it to 50, that is 2350. Okay, so to the nearest hundreds, this will be, that's the hundreds place digit. What do we check? We check next digit. This is 4, which is less than 5. So 347 will be rounded to 300. The answer is 2300. Okay, what happens, people, when this um, number has a decimal space? Nothing changes. If I ask you to round this to one decimal place, that means you're looking at that. What are the decimal places, people? This is the digits after the decimal. So we're looking at this digit. That's where we want to finish the number. Okay. So we check next is seven. So this four will be rounded to five, twenty-three point five. So you round only up to that point. You write only up to that point and finish because zero in the end doesn't make any difference after the decimal. Okay, if we had another, let's say three in here, and I ask you to run this to two decimal places. Now, you want to look at number over here up to this point, you want to write, and seven is what we're finishing at. So I write everything up to that point, 23.4, and then decide the fate of seven. This will be decided by three, so three is less than five, seven will stay as seven, so that's the answer. I know guys it's fairly simple what do you do you put an arrow on the place value where you want to round the number up to checks next check the next digit and you know that rule primary school saying if the next digit is five and above you give it a shove that means round that um, raise that digit one space up and if it is four and below you keep it down low that means it stays as it is Okay, so this is rounding to decimal spaces. This is fairly, fairly simple. All right, guys, so these are some questions for you to try now. So you can copy this table, pause the video, and then work out the answers. When you're ready, then you work with me to check if your answers are right. Okay, so time to start, time to pause the video. Right, so the first one, I'll do that with you. Hundreds place is this one. So what do we do? Check the next digit. This is three so three comes in the category of four and below so keep it down low 100 will stay as 100 so this 137 will be rounded to 100 there's no need to write anything after the decimal because it doesn't matter 137 is what we're looking at okay to so this 10 we're looking at this is the tens digit units tens so this next is seven so 37 in the tens will go up to 40 this is 140. Units, that 7 is the unit digit. What do we check? Digit after that. So 137.6 will go up to 138. One decimal place, which is this one. So we check the next digit. So 137.6. I'll write down everything up to that digit. Then we decide the fate of 6 by 4. And 4 comes in the category 4 and below, so 6 will stay as 6, 137.6. Similarly now, 4 is what I'm looking for, and it's this fate of 4 will be decided by next digit 2, and 2 will make sure that 4 stays as 4, so this is 137.64. Okay, so now you work out the rest of them, and check the answers with me again. Right, so here are the answers. What I'm going to talk about is a couple of questions away. Have a look. This number rounded to nearest 100, that means you're just looking at 3, and fate of 3 will be decided by 9, so it becomes 4. So 396 closes to 400, correct. Rounded to nearest 10, 
Okay, this nine's fate will be decided by six. So six will make sure nine goes up to 10. So 10 means you can't write 10 as one digit. So one will be carried over to this. This is not written as 10 as 400 as well. Okay, and this number to two decimal places will be the same because it is written only up to two decimal places. Brilliant people. So this is grade two work. I'm glad you've done that. We move on to next one where we do rounding to various significant figures. Okay, so now the next thing which comes into um, scheme of works is rounding to various significant figures. Really important people to understand the significant figures rounding is not different from the normal rounding you've learned before. So what is first significant figure? This is, I will write down what I say to you is this is the digit with or at highest place value. Okay, and as you know, as we move towards the left of the number, the place where it increases um, the decimals. Okay, and let's see the highest place value. So how do we find it, people? It's fairly simple that as you start from the left and the first digit, which is significant, which is the highest place value, is the first significant digit. So this is, number is 2307, highest place value is thousands. So this becomes the first significant digit. Okay, this becomes the second significant digit because this has got the second highest place value. This becomes the third significant digit because this has got the third highest place value. This place, this is tens place, zero tens. And that's fourth significant digit because this has got the fourth highest place value. Now in this number, this zero, it does not have any place value because this number starts from 2,300 okay? This number is hundredth, so this is, that is the highest place value, which is tenths, hundredth, okay? So this becomes your first significant digit in that case. That becomes your second significant digit, this is the third, and that is the fourth. So guys, the task is, the idea is, the technique is that you first identify the significant figure you want to round your number to, and then you're going to just round to that place value okay I'm going to show you with a couple of examples what do I mean by this okay okay so there are the examples I was talking about right guys let's see let's identify this first significant figure in this number six is it placed at the highest place value so this is the first significant figure so what is the place value for this six this is units tens hundred um, thousands and ten thousand that means we need to round this number to ten thousands and the fate of the six will be divided by decided by seven and that gives you seven will make the six go up to seven so guys 67 is closer to 70 so this number becomes 70,000 that's one significant figure so once again you identify the significant figure which digit is that then count in the place values around at that place value two significant figure is this seven so which is the place value for seven people this is unit tens hundred thousand that means you're going to round this number to nearest thousands this time so sixty seven thousand will be um to um so this is six seven so seven sixty seven thousand four hundred and eighty will stay closer to sixty seven thousand again so that sixty seven thousand is the answer have a look carefully one more time people Two significant figures, the second highest place value, which is the thousand. Okay, so thousands, I'm going to round this number to the thousands. That's 67,000. First significant figure, one is the highest place value, which is 10,000. So I'm going to round this number to 10,000, that becomes 70,000. Okay, one significant figure over here is this one, which is one decimal place. We round this to one decimal place, 0. 0.5. Four will be decided, fate of four will be decided by seven, so seven will make it go up to five, zero point five. Stop it here, we don't want to put any decimals after that. Two significant figure is this one then. So what do we check? We check the two. So next digit two keeps this seven as seven, so the answer is zero point four seven. So two significant figure is same as two decimal places. All right guys, now we're gonna do what? I'm gonna pause the video and you're gonna pause this as well, write a few questions and work them out and check the answers with me. Okay, so there you are guys, you're going to be working on these three questions, round this to one significant figure 
and two significant figures all right and pause the video now so there are the questions once again pause the video work out the answers here are the answers so this is one significant figure is to the nearest tens that's 90 two significant figures to the nearest whole numbers that's 93 one significant figure is to the nearest 1000 because that's 1000 which is 3000 two significant figures is over here which is to the nearest 100 that's 3100 one significant figure is the second decimal place 0 0.03 and two significant figure is the third decimal place which is 0 0.031 all right guys this is all about rounding now we're going to learn about how do we use this estimating this rounding by insignificant figures in estimating the answers